Hey everyone, so today we are installing a custom battery door access from SunPower Motorhomes. So what this allows you to do is access a coaster's batteries from the outside. So Alan from SunPower Motorhomes has sent us everything that we need, uh, including instructions on how to cut the door out and the new bracket. So this new bracket, uh, they make it from the normal coaster battery sort of mount or base, uh, but all it does is just drops it a little bit lower. You then cut a hole in your side of the bus to make like a door, uh, and then that just allows you to get the, the batteries in and out. So yeah, he sends you everything you need, or they do it up in their shop in Queensland, but they've sent us everything we need, template to cut it out, instructions, all like the hinges, uh, pop rivets, pinch welding, everything. Uh, says to use a, an air hack saw or a reciprocating saw. We don't have one of those, so we're gonna try and do it with a grinder and a normal hack saw. Uh, but if you've got, yeah, those tools, it's probably gonna be better. So, yeah, see how we go. I won't show you that curved part because that was woeful. We don't even have a jigsaw, like a jigsaw would work. But yeah, you definitely want like a reciprocating saw or something rather than nothing like what we had. Let's see how well we did. Pretty damn good. Okay, so I've just taken the batteries out through the top, which meant we had to move our fridge, which was super fun. But I've taken the batteries out. Now I've just got to take this plate here off. So it looks like it's just those four bolts uh, behind there. Oh, it looks like there's that other one too. I don't know. Gonna remove those four bolts and see if we can take it off. It is a, let's have a look. 14 maybe? Guessed it. Looks like it's size 14 bolts. So that's what it looks like after it's out and you just have four of these nuts and bolts so we've just put it back in the box that the new one came in because now we ship it back up to Sun Power Motorhomes and they use it to make the next one so as you see, we couldn't get this bolt out so we just grinded it I hope they don't mind and we'll just buy a new one you've got the old one off you're just gonna take the new one and see how the new one's got these higher bits on so these two holes are just gonna fit in the same spot that the bottom two holes came from of the old one. So yeah, I mean, that's all it does. It just kind of drops it this little bit here. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, put these back on with the same bolts. Oh, we'll just take you in for what it looks like. That's the new mount. There are obviously the bolts. And yeah, not sure if you can really see, but there they are. They sort of just, yeah, sit a bit lower now. Still not lower than the uh, spare tire though. Now we'll finish building the door. All right, so now for the door that we're making for the batteries, we just have to cut five mil off all around the edge. This allows space for the pinch weld to go on the edge of the bus and on the edge of the door so it sits together flush. So it just allows space for that. So I'm just going to measure it up, draw a line, and Shane's going to cut it with the jigsaw. So I've also just drawn the lock cutouts um, just because it was probably easy to do it while the template fits the whole thing. Uh, now we're just going to use a jigsaw to cut those lines that Claire drew. So the thing says a reciprocating saw, which we didn't have, so we struggled really hard to cut this out. Uh, we went to Bunnings and asked what they thought would be best, a reciprocating saw, a multi-tool or whatever, and the guy just said a jigsaw. He said a jigsaw is the best thing that you can use to cut curves and cut like the bus and that sort of thing, which goes against sort of what I said when I cut out a hole in the bus previously, where I was like, don't use a jigsaw, because I scratched 
all the outside. And you just like, just masking tape it up and use a jigsaw, you're gonna get the best cut. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So jigsaw hopefully will work. Okay, so now we have to do the hinges. So you've got to cut the pinch weld out. So it says 75 mil from edge to in, so to the center of this, so that'll be about there. Uh, and then 75 on this side too, which will be about there. And then I've just got to measure the center and then that'll be the next one. Then we've got to cut out this much so the hinge can go in and then it'll go about here, I'd by the looks of things. I'm still not entirely sure how far up or down it's supposed to go, but that looks about right. I'm just gonna try cutting it with pliers. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll give it a go. Okay, so I've just marked out where the pop rivets now need to go. So I'm just gonna drill some holes. So the way I worked it out was just based off the reference image they sent me. It looked like the pinch weld sort of went halfway between the pop rivet holes, so should be right. There's one, two more. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, now we're putting this little latch up here. Uh, it's designed to hold the door in. By working on it, so like that. So we just marked where the holes are going to go, and we're just going to put some pop rivets in. So we just attached the door stops on both sides. So you want to line them up with the holes for the locks that we cut out earlier. And then I've just overhung the instructions said 10 centimeters, it didn't really look like enough, so I've overhung 20 centimeters. And then I've sort of marked 50 centimeters in, you know, drilled a hole, marked on the silver bit, drilled a hole in that, and then pop riveted it, and then just done two pop rivets each. And that's how they're attached. So I can show you the back. That's just how they are on the back there. So the pop rivets only just fit, um, but yeah. We found the holes that we cut out for the locks to be too small, so we just had to cut them a little bit bigger. Uh, so I think we made them three centimeters by 7.5 centimeters. Uh, and yeah, now you just grab the lock, which is like that when it's open, and you want the locking mechanism on the inside, and then it just sort of pushes in. Uh, and we're just now going to silicon around that to, to hold it in place. That's just it siliconed. We siliconed the outside. Silicon the inside, which is not as neat, but it doesn't need to be. Okay, so I've just put the batteries back in and put all the wires back together. Uh, because it's now dropped, I actually had issues with the negative wire. Uh, I'm just trying to get you in there. I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but there was an earth that goes up to that very top hole there that you can sort of see that's a bit faded where there was a bolt. Um, yeah, so it, it, there was an earth going up to there which was really short and prevented me from getting the uh, negative down. So I just had to move that uh, in back there so that the negative terminal fit back on. But yeah, there's the batteries all in the new compartment and that's what it looks like from outside. 
I think this fuse block is to do with the old door. Uh, I don't know, it's been so long since we unplugged these cables that I don't remember what they're for. Um, but I don't know if this is always in the way. Last thing I did was get some spray paint of the Toyota Coaster white color and just sprayed over that fiberglass bit that I uh, accidentally damaged to make it look uh, nice again. Okay, so this is it done now. So you just unclip your locks and you can bring it up, pull these latches out, that holds it in place and then you have full access to your batteries. So yeah, it only took us forever to get done. It's something that we always wanted to do when we put our fridge over the actual battery hatch um, but yeah simple enough to do yourself so shout out to Sun Power Motorhomes again for sending us out the kit and making the instructions so easy to follow and if you like, found this video useful please like subscribe and share and until next time see ya oh no Apparently, that's like covering a hole. Because it was coming off.